What is up, you stud muffin gaming champions? Eight thoughts, Ocho, Ben Zemientos. Back with another banger, banger of a video. Hope you're doing well. That intro is a bit much. Anyways, yo, on with the video. Smash that like button, subscribe. Destiny 2 hits new Crucible player record after Bungie disables skill-based matchmaking. Uh, yeah, hey, big shocker. I don't know what Infinity Ward, I don't know what Activision has gotten up to. They're under some kind of impression that skill-based matchmaking has improved player count. Well, I, I think this shows otherwise. Destiny 2 had huge, huge player-based, skill-based matchmaking implemented just like Modern Warfare does. And on June 11th, the Destiny developer made a big call, right? You know, they just basically split with Activision. They said, hey, here's the deuces. Peace out. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. And on June 11th, the developers made a big call. They flipped the switch on skill-based matchmaking, and they got rid of it. And since they did that, the player count has gone through the roof and has been the best it's ever been. And in fact, Apex Legends is suffering because of this. People are going over playing Destiny 2 now. So if this doesn't teach a lesson that skill-based matchmaking actually, I'm sorry, isn't good for gaming, isn't good for player count, then I don't know what else to say because it's obvious. I mean, Destiny 2, disabled matchmaking based upon skill, and what happened? Oh my God, shocker, the player base went through the roof. What's the biggest complaint or one of the biggest complaints about Modern Warfare? Skill-based matchmaking, but apparently Activision and Infinity Ward are like, you know what, you know what, you thought you just a hater. Skill-based matchmaking is actually really good and we're getting big numbers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bring it back, Mongoloid. The only reason why you're having big numbers is because you have a free-to-play aspect of a game called Battle Royale Modern Warfare Warzone. That's your number, Blaze. No one is playing your multiplayer. No one. And if you go play multiplayer, it's horrific. And if you're watching this video and you enjoy multiplayer, fuck you. You suck. You're a retard. Smash the dislike button, unsubscribe, and get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm just joking. That was a bit harsh. That was just a joke. I'm just you know doing it for comedic effect. But it's a proof of the fact here, man. Destiny 2 Best numbers ever play multiplayer because they disable skill-based matchmaking. Are you catching the clue here, Activision Infinity Ward? Jesus, H. Christ on a leper crutch. Disable it, bro. Let's roll. Better not have it. Yo, David Vondahar, if you're watching this video, Treyarch, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not because you know why I'm not a paid Activision skill shill on your radar, but hey, maybe for Black Ops 5 or Cold Sore or whatever the hell your next game's going to be called when it comes out in year 2025, hey, maybe you might want to tone down the skill-based matchmaking. It might just be an idea, bro. I'm just throwing it out there, just floating the idea. What the hell do I know? I don't know nothing. I've only been involved in this damn community since I was 10 years old and I'm 50 now. Doesn't make any sense mathematically, but you can figure it out. All right. That's all I had to say. Skill based matchmaking. Pow some sand. Thanks for watching the video. I made thoughts, hopefully, pray to the gods of skill based matchmaking that it's nowhere to be found in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold Sore in 2075 when it finally releases. All right. Woo. Have a good night. Have a good day. This is my third video of the day. You're welcome. Blessing your timeline with the most amazing content. Smash the like button, subscribe, or don't. I don't give a fuck. And last but not least, most importantly, stay black. Question authority. Do I not regret the reptilian section?